Well, good morning, my friends, and welcome to a beautiful Wednesday morning vlog with you, John O'Leary. I'm thrilled you're with me today. One of my favorite quotes is that pride always comes before the fall. Pride, arrogance, it always comes. That always shows up right before the business, the relationship, the country, the life falls apart. And yet, I'd also suggest to you today that sometimes we need to take a little bit of pride in who we are and what we do. And this weekend, I had a great reminder of the beauty of having a little bit of pride in who we are and in what we do. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I had the opportunity of spending an awful lot of time with four great people. These little people, aging nine, seven, five, and three, my kids, Jack, Patrick, and Henry and Grace, four of my little joys, spent Saturday, Sunday, Monday, just kind of harnessed up with these kids, barbecuing, playing sports, swimming, going to parties, hanging out, drawing. I took them to the office. We had a blast. And what I learned is this. It's hard, number one, to get work done with four kids in your office. That's the, no, that's the number one thing I, I learned was, was that. Be careful taking your kids to work. But more importantly, I learned this. These little guys, these little gals began almost every sentence with the same set of words. You ready for it? Hey dad, watch this. Whether they were about to take a big bite of their cheeseburger, whether they were about to jump in the pool, hey dad, watch this. When I was trying to get work done outside in our conference room, they would draw pictures. They would say, hey dad, watch this. Everything they did was magical and worth me watching in their own mind. It was all important, it was all relative because they were completely focused on doing it well. They were ready to showcase this stuff, man. It was show and tell, and it was not just one day near the end of class. It was show and tell all weekend long, and from my understanding with little kids, it's show and tell all day, every day of their lives. They are proud of what they do. They are proud of the work they do. They are proud of their cannonballs. They are proud of the bites they take of food. And then we get older and swimming becomes boring. Maybe we'll lay out for a little bit, but we're not gonna do cannonballs into the cold water. We won't draw pictures anymore, certainly for dad. We won't take big bites of our food anymore and show people how big they can be. My friends, I think there's a time and a place in our life to have, again, some renewed interest, some renewed hope, a little bit of renewed pride, love of what we do. So today, begin a few of your sentences at work, at school, in carpool, at the office, at the coffee shop, and in between with the lines, hey, watch this. And then do something worthy of being watched, worthy of impacting the lives of those lucky enough to be around you. My friends, this is your day to live inspired.